Hey y'all, welcome back. We just got ourselves some chloroform and we are ready for action. Oh wait, we came from this way, didn't we? No, we need the level three. Oh. Those thermal sensors had a detection angle of 90 degrees and it would sense the heat of my body like the predator. They obviously wouldn't detect through the tall brown boxes in the facility, so I could hide from them like how I've been sneaking around the guards. But the containers weren't everywhere. Any wide open areas were a problem. That's when I thought to call the colonel, where I'd learn a way to trick the sensors. Colonel, do you copy? Copy. I'm on the third floor. This is where the offices should be. Search for more files. We need more intel about the attack. That's not going to be easy. In the middle of the night, those offices should be empty. Haven't seen anyone yet, but there's a thermal sensor. I can't proceed without setting it off. Do you have any ideas? In the army, we use insulating suits to conceal our body temperatures. All right, so now we put on this bad boy. And cool. Can't go in there yet. Oh, what's in here? <clears throat> nope, before we do that, let's take care of a couple things. Yeah, we have to get that. reasons I won't explain, we're going to need batteries, and I don't feel like tracking back. So, I want to try to get them before, and be smart, but we'll see. Okay, no secret there. Alright, now let's open up these files. The third file of Operation Jericho was quite revealing. It had a map of the Cantor province with exact coordinates, an ambush plan, and a picture of the colonel with his name under it. Apparently their plan was to kidnap the colonel without leaving a trace. The second file of Operation Jericho was a compendium of coded numbers. It also had a map, so those numbers could be the coordinates of attack routes, or potentially the attack targets themselves. The first file was about an attack plan. Its code name was Operation Jericho. I couldn't find many details because it was encoded. But anyone could understand a chart about casualties. Its lines went all the way to the top. <laughs> its lines went all the way to the top. Colonel, all right, let's call the colonel. Read me. Loud and clear, Fox. Colonel, I discovered a third document. Good job, son. What's on it? Let me take a look at it. Interesting. What was your name? Colonel Alan Harris. Why do you ask? 
Because your name is written here. Don't pull my leg, son. I'm serious, Colonel. It's right here. Damn. This means that they need me for their plan. You're integral. Okay, cool. In the next corridor, I ran into... Uh... I've done that one. Let's see. Let's try that. Two detectors. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Oh, okay. I knew better than to punch while wearing the suit. It was delicate and could tear. <laughs> Bad news, no punches while wearing the suit. Good news, scoring more points with the doctor. Well, fuck. Okay, cool. No. I know I'm gonna get caught as soon as... Chose the other one. I knew better than to punch while wearing the suit. It was delicate and we know this. There has to be. What am I missing for that? Hold on, rusty wire. Secret in here. Oh, maybe those are the secret rooms. Maybe. So there's one in floor one as well. Okay. <clears throat> nope, 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 nope. Here. 
that be up further? No, it can't be. It has to be around here. There's nothing else really up there, yeah. Floor three, lift. I chose something else. I really wish I would have chose the one I knew. I shouldn't have got caught from that, right? Officer kept me here the whole night fixing stuff. What an asshole. I'm gonna kick his ass so hard, he'll drop his level three access card and be stuck in this building. Where's his office? Really? Wow! It's right behind you. That's the door. The one with the lasers? Yep. <coughs> Let me guess. Deadly lasers. Yep. Disintegrate you on contact. Ugh. Well, maybe another time. Hold on. If we generate a small power surge in the right circuit, those lasers will shut down. Great. Let's do it. I'll need at least 12 batteries. We keep them in the boxes on this floor. You get the batteries. I'll prepare the surge. Okay. That's what we needed the batteries for. And that's why I'm really upset about those detectors. We are down to one. I knew better than to punch while wearing the suit. It was delicate. Damn it. And 
there's probably no way for me to... Just barely. Man, I'm fucking stupid. I stressed for no reason. I'm so stupid. Alright, let's go. Hey, Mike. Here By the way, the other one was 250 Good. sheep. I didn't over. know what I'm DTC would be. Just gotta connect them to this wire and... Lasers deactivated. <laughs> nope. Shock my hands. Let's Shock try my this hands. Again. Let's try this wire instead. You okay? Bye. <laughs> it's gonna take a while to fix them, but no regrets. Totally worth it. Thanks, Mike. I owe you one. Don't sweat it, Mike. We're even. I was finally in front of the office door. On the other side, I could hear someone talking on the phone. Yes? I see. Are you sure about that? Damn, that's high treason. No, that won't be necessary. I'll deal with it personally. That was the officer with the access card I needed, but he was leaving through the other door and the card had to be on him. What was he talking about? Who was the traitor? It wasn't long before I found out my answers. I answered the call before leaving. Hey, Fox, are you there? Here I am, Robert. It looks like you're in some big shit, pal. I've been listening to some radio comms, and does the doctor sound familiar to you? Fuck yes. Why? Because <laughs> I heard that someone is going to arrest him for treason. Damn it. I have to stop them. Careful, Fox. Don't panic. This shot could be a trap. Robert's call made my head spin. I left the office as fast as I could. It took me less than two minutes to reach the sick bay. Oh, actually, with the sheep, you literally cannot walk fast. Like, at least now we have a clear path. Whereas before, it kind of sucked. It took so long to travel there. Hell yeah, we're making great time. Uh, one more. There we go. Right, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, right? Did I forget the layout already? I feel like this is right. Yeah, it's it's right. There they were. Robert was right. Those bastards were going to arrest their own doctor. Sons of bitches. I wasn't going to let it happen. As I got close, I could hear shouting from inside. Then I remembered what Robert told me about being careful. I held back my urge to kill and listened to the conversation. And why did you give him your access card? I didn't. He took it from my jacket. But you did nothing to stop him. This is high treason. You're in deep shit, Dr. Hoffman. So, Dr. Hoffman, I'm surprised, Mr. Fox. You managed to remember a surname. Well, I had a neighbor named Hoffman. Big German man. Very hairy. He <laughs> won the lottery and was planning to retire, but his gonorrhea had other plans. <laughs> Fuck. Let's return to the story. <laughs> sure. Where was I? This is high treason. You're in deep shit, Dr. Hoffman. Good. Just testing if you were listening. You want a doctor that has no idea how to fight? Stop a man that knocked out all your guards? Are you really that stupid? Don't you dare insult my intelligence. I know you gave him medical attention. How many wounded have you healed, Lieutenant? I'll tell you, none. Why? Because your job is to be a paper-pushing butter bar. Mine, on the other hand, is to heal and attend to anyone who needs it, even if that person killed my family. 
aiding the enemy in this space is treason. My oath has no restrictions on who I must heal. You want to arrest me? Then tell me, Lieutenant, who is going to save the lives of your soldiers if I'm in a cell? You? A man so incompetent that a prisoner is running circles around him? How dare you! Now stop pestering me and get the hell out of my sick bay! This isn't the end, Doctor. You're on thin ice. Man, she's one badass doctor. Shit, they're coming out. <coughs> off he went, taking the level 3 card with him. I needed that card if I wanted to get out of this building. But before that, I had to <coughs> check if the doctor was okay. Oh my god, this this game is the best. Uh, actually, let's do the slingshot first. Doctor, are you alright? Why do you ask? I found out you were going to be arrested, so I ran here to help, but I heard people shouting. Oh my god. <laughs> That's Lieutenant Marcuson. All bark and no brain. I can't stand that moron. Really? I couldn't tell. But once he speaks to General Lex, I'll have some serious problems. You've dragged me into quite a mess. Sorry, Doc. I didn't mean to cause you trouble. Yeah, I know. Anyway, thanks for worrying about me. It's what I do. That Marcuson has a level 3 card on him. I'll understand if I see him in my sick bay later. You read my mind. See you around, Doc. Hang on. Uh Wait, what? <laughs> Ouch! Deja vu. What the hell were you doing? I was leaning in for a hug. With your eyes closed? And you said kiss out loud. Sorry, let's never speak of this again. Fine by me. You look tired. Take these first aid kits. Thanks. Doctor. Sweet. Save some for Lieutenant Marcuson. If you shoot him, don't let him bleed to death. I'll be executed as an accomplice if he dies. Now go. Catch him before he exits the building. Alright, so I was laughing. I love how extreme the sick bay gets every time you go there. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. Cowardly pet of that traitorous bitch. What's up? Is your conjugal visit over? <laughs> I'm in charge of enforcing curfew. And only I can leave from here. Problem with a building this large? There are too many hideouts for a mutt like you. So... Now it's just you and us, mutt. You can't run and you can't hide. All right, let's see if we can. I figured the chloroform wouldn't work. Sorry, I want to knock him out anyway. For being such a douchebag. I didn't pay attention to my health. Well, well, well. I guess this we can skip this. We don't need to watch this again. I shot a guard. I couldn't let him die. I promised it to the doctor. 
I had to heal him before bleeding to death. So I got close, and I used one of my first aid kits. You're a tough little mongrel, aren't you? I wonder if old dogs... Oh shit. Damn it. Yes, yes, I know. Her, 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 her. Dog, dog, dog. I shot a guard. I know, you shot a guard. You're a tough little mongrel, aren't you? Defeated. That's right. And I can shoot bullet toes too. You coward. Finish this once and for all. Don't even think about it, bastard. Death would be too good for you. I'm going to keep you alive. And you'll lie here on the ground until someone finds you. Everyone will know that a single prisoner defeated you. Best part, you'll be severely injured. <laughs> you'll be severely you'll injured. Being <laughs> what the fuck? You caught a traitor. No, no. Hold on, before I leave. There is something I would like to do. Watch out! Most instruments don't respond. Yeah, we don't respond well to punches. I know. My sight's still. Hey, leave my patients alone. Okay. Okay. All right. Wasn't there another part of the sewer? Needed the uh, different key card. I don't know if I have that one yet, though. No, it's probably four or five. I guarantee these will be four and five. Where are we at? Okay, cool. We still got a lot of time. Hey, hey, you're still knocked out. I tried to open the door with the level three card, but the exit also had a biometric scanner, which needed to scan your retina and your fingerprints. In other words, only authorized people could open that door, and I was not one of them. Do I need the actual... Do I need to pick up Brozeppi over here? Come on, let's go. Found one of the secrets. I could finally breathe some fresh air. 
The ground was untended. Breathe air. Uneven grass covered the soil, and the jungle was relentless. Everything was dark, save for a light above the door. In my escape, I ran into a gang of hounds that were sound asleep. Oh shit. Uh Let's do Your that. Your sense of hearing was 100 times stronger than ours. I had to pass between them very slowly in order to keep them asleep. The further I could tiptoe around them, the better. Yeah, I wanted you guys to see that. <laughs> okay. Fox here. Over. What is it, Fox? I managed to leave the building. Well done. Now you have to get as far away as you can. I'm on it. Damn, this jungle is dense. By the way, I found some sleeping dogs, and I'm going to sneak past them. Don't even think about calling me for the next five minutes. I don't want to wake them up. Got it. Over and out. Eh. We gotta level up. here ah cigarettes still haven't found a use for those and you we can just stash over here Can I really? Can I really? Let's see, we're gonna try it. I don't, I don't plan on using the gun anyway, so I was just curious. Hey! Shit! I could have hopped in those other trucks and I didn't know it. Okay. Come on. Quietly. Ho oh, ho. We did it. Make a bet, Mike. How high? How high what? Look! The landmines! Wait! <laughs> the look on your face! Mike, you're a dick. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Can't detect you if you're flat against the wall. Reload to the gun automatically. Now reloading's not really much of a problem. Let's go camouflage. There, now I'll put you over here next to your buddy. Sleepy. 
so that's a reference to Metal Gear Solid. Or not solid, just Metal Gear. Because in the first, the uh, localized version of Metal Gear, he says, I feel asleep, instead of, I fell asleep. Or I'm sleepy, or whichever. I'm tired. Okay, we're gonna be smart. The last time I did this, I think this is where I left off. Is that the next part? Ooh, 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 ooh. Summon a beach. A different key for that. Good. And, and yep, right there. Slap on that one. Damn. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We can still. We'll be okay with that much. Okay, we need that security key for over there. Anything special over here? Oh, what's all this? Oops. say we use quite a bit on that all right now let's traverse I 
didn't equip that in time on, at first. I'm surprised it actually worked and they weren't like due to me using the suit. Okay. There was nobody in the room, but my instincts told me it was a perfect place for a trap. <laughs> perfect place for a trap. Good deal. We like those. And we got ourselves a basement key. Just what I've always wanted. All right. Oh, now we can see if we get. Oh, okay, never mind. Cool. our little trail right back to the front for us. Missing something. I still got a search down here, but I've went through everything. Yeah, I think that's it.
These provide nothing. So, let's get the key. said the side of it makes you nervous so I just want to see if anything happens there's one last thing to check maybe this is the one to power them all nope okay we are golden Mines weren't the only threat. The jungle was home to ferocious hunters. I noticed the presence of. Uh, flies or frogs? Frogs. Arrowhead frogs. It's poison. Lethal. A single scratch could make me croak. jungle I found something or rather someone I saw the rotting remains of an escaping prisoner it had a note if you're reading this note then I'm dead my name is Henry Stanley and I was imprisoned for a crime I didn't commit damn just like me 
After escaping like from me. my cell, I ran away through the sewers then ended up in the Alpha building. I finally managed to leave that damn building, but now I'm lost in this tropical hell. I've spent 30 years trying to leave this damn jungle, but no luck. I'm old, and my strength is fading. I won't last long. These are my last words. These were his last words. <laughs> Other than the note, there was a compass, but the needle was missing. A broken compass was useless, so I didn't take it. Oh, okay. All right. Another corpse. I searched the corpse. It was also rotting and gripping another compass. The needle was also missing. Someone or something in this jungle was stealing <laughs> compass needles. There was a secret pocket in his ragged clothes. Within, I found a note. If you only found this note, then someone else stole my other note. Another note? Damn. Someone passed by before I did and stole this poor man's note. <laughs> I never knew what the other note said. I never knew what the other note said. <laughs> than I expected. It was rotting too. <laughs> like the others, it had a compass on it. <laughs> Don't You're tell so me. The needle stupid. was missing. Exactly. Could it be that you were running into the same corpse over and over again? I commend you for coming to the same conclusion. I passed by seven times to confirm it. I was wandering in circles. The damn jungle was toying with me. I had to orient myself somehow or I'd end up spending 30 years in that maze of trees. I tried to direct myself by watching the stars. But the damn top-down view only let me see the trees and ground. <coughs> so, I had to find another way to gain direction. What was the diameter of the compass, Mr. Fox? Around two inches. And how long was the rusty wire, Mr. Fox? Six or seven inches. Wasn't it a little too long to place it inside the compass? I'm stupid, but not that stupid. I just used a small piece of the rusty wire, not the whole thing. I ripped off a piece with my teeth before placing it in the compass. But that wire wouldn't have been magnetized. How did you expect it to work? Modern compasses don't need the wire to be magnetized. Just turns out the compass wasn't modern. Alright, now... I was looking at the compass, thinking of how to make it work, when something caught my eye. In the middle of the grass, something glimmered under the pale moonlight. In my peripheral vision, I noticed I was not the only one to spot it. to stop it here we are getting real close on time so we'll just equip this and it's saved so even if we have to assemble the compass in the next save that's fine thank you all for watching comment down below if you'd like to see 
more of this. Obviously, I'm still going to do the playthrough, but if you want to see more rapidly than every other day, if you want me to drop an extra one tomorrow, maybe I will. Uh, anyways, regardless, just to see kind of see how you guys all feel on it. But thank you for watching, and let's go. 1K.